Hi, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. We've already covered beams in the last video, but this is a little bit of an extension, and it's about when and where to beam notes. Now, we know from the beaming video that uh, sometimes when eighths, sixteenths, or any notes that have flags are grouped together, then we use beams to connect them to each other. But we're presented with a little bit of a problem sometimes when we have groups of notes that must be beamed together. So I just put three note heads here on the staff, and I want to make these a beamed group of eighth notes. And what we need to do is to determine where the beam actually happens. Now what's tricky about this is that if I put individual stems on these notes, then the stems go different directions, and it would be really difficult to beam those. In fact, it would be impossible to beam those like that. So what we need to first do is determine which one of those notes is farthest away from the middle of the staff. So the middle of the staff is right here, where I just put that, that uh, whole note head. Um, right in the middle of the staff. I'm not going to give it a pitch because we don't have a uh, clef. The farthest note in this group away from that middle of the staff is that top note. It's the one that's farthest away from the middle of the staff that determines the stem direction of all of the notes in the group. So since the stem would be facing down for that note, all of the other stems will also face down. Note that that first note, which in treble clef would be an A, this one here, that the stem is actually facing the wrong direction if it were an individual note. But since it's part of the group, all the stems need to face the same direction, and then I can beam them accordingly, just like that. So let's take a little bit of a bigger group, like this. Let's say we have these four notes that we want to beam together. And how about let's beam them as 16th notes this time. So what we first need to do is find the one farthest away from the middle of the staff. Now this one is uh, two lines away. This one is a line and a space away. It's a little bit closer. So the farthest away from the staff is that first note, so that's what determines the stem direction. Since the stem would be upward facing on that first note, all of the other stems will also be upward facing, and then we can beam those together as 16th notes. Now remember that uh, beams are used to group some of these notes together. Now when do you actually beam these together? When notes are beamed together, that means that all of these notes belong to the same beat. Now if they didn't belong to the same beat, things would be a little bit different. Let's clear some space here and let's unbeam these. And I'm going to have to restem these. So now what I'm going to do is group these into two groups of two. We're going to have two eighth notes and then two more eighth notes. Both groups belong to a different beat. I'll show you how that would be beamed. So the first is this group. Both of those would have upward facing stems, so there's no question about where the stem goes. We just have to beam them. Now the next two would both have downward facing stems, and then I can beam those as well. Now what this is indicating is that these both belong to different beats. We'll just say that this is beat one and this is beat two. And the beams are telling us that there's a a designated beat for each one of those groups, that the first two belong to one beat and the other belong to another beat. And that's really important when we get into uh, compound meter, which will be covered in the next video. So just to quickly summarize, the beams are um, connecting all of these notes together, but in order to determine the stem direction and where the beam goes, you must find the note that's farthest from the center of the staff. And once you found that note, you determine what would the stem direction would be of that note. And that's what all of the stem directions will be in that group. Beam them, and you're done. Thank you.